welcome to 13th lecture of analog integrated circuits design uh, so far we discussed about single stage amplifiers uh, uh, starting from common source uh, discussed all varieties of common source later we have discussed about common drain amplifier the limitations of common drain uh, then uh, in yesterday's class we discussed about common gate amplifier specifically we saw that uh, for common gate we have to look at the input impedance because that is the first amplifier configuration where you have uh, input given to a source terminal than gate terminal of, uh, with in comparison to other two amplifier types so in today's class we will see uh, a, a specific configuration called as cascode amplifier the uses of cascode amplifier Uh, so before going to cascode, uh, yesterday I mentioned that cascoding is nothing but stacking or keeping one transistor on the top of the other transistor. So before, uh, yeah, the main topic of discussion of today's class is cascode amplifier. Uh, but let us see, uh, or let us see the difference between uh, cascade amplifier and a normal amplifier, and why we are basically looking for cascoding structures. That is what uh, today's class we will uh, see. Uh, so in uh, in a normal CS amplifier, when it is uh, loaded with a current source, ideal current source, say of I naught value, this is supply voltage VDD, this is V in, and this is V out. Uh, now, <clears throat> uh, I'm very sure that if I ask you the voltage gain of this uh, circuit, you all will tell about this value as minus GM R naught. All right, so voltage gain, we are very, very familiar. Now, if I ask you the power consumption or the DC power of the circuit, what will be your answer? What is the DC power consumption of the circuit? Can I get your answers in the chat box? If I talk about the DC power, DC power of the circuit, uh, what, what will be your answer? Can I get some response in the chat box? Yes. Um, VDS into ID. All right. Um, any, any, any other answers? Don't know. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. So uh, when you talk about DC power, DC power is basically, so power we express as the product of voltage and current. So when you ask about DC power, it should be the product of DC voltage and DC current, right? So uh, the DC voltage here is the supply voltage itself. So I'll write it as VDD. And the uh, current is the DC current. So uh, since I0 is the current source connected here, the current flowing through this transistor will be definitely I0. So I'll write VDD, uh, it as VDD into I0. Uh, but when it is not VDS, um, we are talking about the, the total power available in the circuit. So VDD is the power supply line. So VDD into ID is the, or VDD into I0 is the DC power. All right. Now, uh, so uh, we, we know about this amplifier, uh, the maximum gain available is GMR naught and we call it as intrinsic gain and all such things we know. Now, if I'm asking a simple question, uh, if, if we are looking for a gain of uh, one more GMR naught or say for example, uh, this GMR naught value is 10. Now, if you want to have an amplifier of gain 100, what is a simple method uh, which will come to your mind? Let me write this as CS amplifier because you should not get again confusion under cascode amplifier. I have drawn again this circuit. Yeah, my question is, uh, if, uh, say for example, this GMR naught is equal to 10. And now if you want to have a gain of 100, what is a simple technique what you will think to get a gain of 100? with this uh, CS amplifier stage. Any thoughts in that line? Mm, cascade one more amplifier. Yes, that is right, Anushka. So the very common method or common technique is, yes, each with gain of 10, add another CS, S7S, that is right. So what the, the common method, what we uh, use is, when I say common method, this is one possibility I'm telling. Uh, but that doesn't mean that this is what we usually do in all practical cases, right? Yeah, so we, we would like to add one more amplifier stage. So when I say we are adding one more amplifier stage, this is V in. This is the V out of first stage. 
but that will be uh, connected to v in of the second uh, transistor and we are expecting that this is the uh, say this is i naught this is also another i naught and this is the final output this is vdd now uh, there are two transistors here m1 and m2 uh, now if i want to write uh, say i'm just marking this node as vx this is vx no i'll mark this node as x and i'll write what is vx first what is vx vx is equal to the gain of first stage is minus gm into r naught one into v in now what is v out v out is equal to minus gm two into r naught two into vx so i can write v out as minus gm two r naught two minus gm one r naught one into v in or i can write gain as v out by v in which is equal to gm2 r02 into gm1 r01 minus and minus will get cancelled or uh, finally i can also assume that if gm1 is equal to gm2 and r01 is equal to r02 this voltage gain can be considered as gm r0 the whole square right this is what uh, i asked in the beginning so one is having a gain of 10 if you want a gain of 100 simply cascade one more stage and get a gain of 100 right so this is a very common this is uh, logical also to think in this way uh, but now uh, let us also see what is the um, power consumption or what is the dc power uh, taken by the circuit so if i uh, write about dc power what do you think what is the dc power here the first circuit you know it is vdd into there is only one current flowing there so vdd into i naught so what about this Can I get some response in the chat box? All right. Yes. Um, yeah, it is two VDD into ID or two VDD into I naught. Yes, that is also that is right because you see what is the supply voltage available? It is VDD into. Uh, how many branches are there for the circuit this is branch one and this is branch two there are two currents the sum of two currents is two i naught so vdd into two i naught or i can say it is equal to two into vdd into i naught so uh, when when you compare a single stage amplifier uh, with a uh, so this is this we call it as cascade amplifier right we generally call these kind of uh, configurations are cascade so we are adding one stage at the output of the other stage so if, if you look at a, a single stage CS amplifier and a cascade amplifier, uh, if you look at the gain part, you are actually getting, um, you are getting actually uh, a, a more gain, right? So whatever, if GMR0 is a gain of first stage, you are getting GMR0 the whole square. That means you are getting a huge gain difference when you go for cascading. But at the same time, if you look at power, the power consumption or the power DC power um, of this cascade amplifier is at least twice that of the single stage amplifier. All right. So uh, if you remember, we were actually talking about uh, the trade off uh, trade off things or the analog design octagon. Uh, so you can uh, you can think in that line here that uh, power. So in uh, when when you are actually getting larger gain, we are also uh, burning more uh, more current or burning more power. More power is actually available uh, required for the uh, this cascade amplifier circuit so uh, with respect to this uh, thoughts has uh, come up and people have come up with uh, an idea uh, so what people tried is uh, what people tried is um, they want to maintain the same uh, power as the single stage amplifier or the cs amplifier as vd into i naught but at the same time they are trying for a larger gain so uh, as we know that uh, we have a greediness nature, right? As human, we know that we all are greedy. So, um, but that le that led to this this type of uh, this kind of uh, innovation method, right? Because uh, for uh, what what people thought is by maintaining the same power, can I get more gain? That is what the thought. So, as a result of that, 
uh, we got uh, this amplifier topology and we call it as cascode amplifier right so the main idea behind cascode amplifier is by maintaining maintaining same power as that of a single stage cs amplifier and achieving the gain of a cascade amplifier this is what the thought behind a uh, cascade amplifier so it is very uh, you should be very careful uh, this is cascade and this is cascode so cascading means stacking one above the uh, one above the other okay so the very basic structure of a cascode amplifier is the this is the load the current source load of i naught value uh, so what we do is this is our input transistor where this you are providing v in say i am calling this as m1 if it is a regular amplifier we know that uh, we will take output from this coin which is v out now cascading means we are adding one device here how are we adding uh, we are connecting this is how we add this is v out this is v in and this should be suitably biased that is why i am just writing it as v bias and this is transistor m2 right so what we did here is we added one more device on the top of m1 transistor and uh, and hoping that we will get a larger gain or the same gain as that of a cascade amplifier all right now uh, my question or my um, what i'm asking to you guys is can you find the voltage gain of this uh, configuration this circuit can you find the voltage gain so uh, definitely i can write dc power here Mm, there is no doubt dc power is equal to this is the vdd line power supply line so vdd line into there is only one branch and that is carrying a current of i naught so vdd into i naught is a dc power so how will you write the voltage gain of this um, the circuit any thoughts can i check with arun r patil arun yes sir yeah arun um, can you help me in finding the gain of the circuit um not sure so okay for all cs amplifier types how can you write gain uh, how how will you write gain or how will you find gain av generally how will you find gain so gm parallel mm. gm parallel gm so gm are not uh, all right yeah arun uh, no problem you just uh, uh, i'll check with some others please do contact yes. me after the class all right okay. sure sir. yeah uh, so um, let me check with aryan aryan r uh, yes sir gm yeah. rd by 1 plus gm rs Mm, GMRD by one plus GMRS. Um, so, did you see this as a common source with the degeneration? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, yes, Aryan. Yeah, I understood. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought. Uh, uh, okay, what I am understanding from your answer is you are thinking that this is same as a common source with degeneration, right? Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. The, the The answer would have been true if you replace RS with something. But that would have been true if the the if the circuit was like this. If V in was connected here, and if V bias was down, then you can oh. definitely think this as a common source of the degeneration. But now you see, V in okay. is to the bottom device. So generally, how will we how will I write this? Generally, we will write A V S minus G M into R out, right? For all common source uh, transistors, that is what uh, we have done. This is true for all linear amplifiers, but most accurately, we can use this with a common source configuration. So look at the circuit. 
uh, from where input is taken input is given input is given to gate source terminal is common now this is a drain but output is not taken from the drain of this transistor but it is taken from the drain of another transistor yes sir. all right now uh, we can definitely say that this stage the first stage since the source is common and since the drain is providing the output signal to the next transistor we can think this as a common source stage now yes. what about the yeah uh, all right Darren, i am explaining no issues you can unmute, uh, you can mute uh, now uh, for m2 device if you look at m2 device the 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 signal coming or the input signal available for m2 is at source this is the a terminal where the, the m2 device is getting the signal and that signal is coming from the previous uh, transistor m1 transistor the output of this m2 is taken from the drain what is a uh, gate here gate is common that means this stage or this transistor is actually acting as a common gate stage right so this is how we will understand now let, let me uh, let us uh, look at the voltage gain of this circuit AV, uh, AV can be written as minus gm into r out so uh, what is r out in this case how will i write r out generally we know how to proceed with r out we have we will short the input um, let i'll just draw the equivalent circuit to find r out um, so when i am finding r out this is this should be grounded this also should be grounded like all dc voltages and the input signal is also uh, grounded and this is the point and here i am actually connecting a test voltage and i am calling this as v test and this as i test but in the equivalent circuit we also know that we have to make this current source open right since this is a dc current source and when we go for um, when we go for um, output impedance calculation uh, current sources should made open should be made open so when I do that, what is the impedance seen here? The impedance seen here is infinity. So what is the impedance seen down? This is as same as a, um, the in ra rapid simplification, the fifth one, right? I'll just go back and show that. Yeah, sorry, this is the sixth one, F, the same thing, right? You have a transistor and you have a another transistor or that is giving a resistance of R. So if I write the same thing uh, the gain expression here so the r out expression is infinity in parallel to uh, say if this is m2 and this is m1 the output impedance here is equal to r01 plus r02 plus gm2 r02 into r01 so i can write this same as uh, there or this can be approximated so r out expression the exact expression is this and it can be approximated as uh, gm2 r02 r01 you I, I hope you remember both the approximated method value and the exact value that is r out what about gm so when you find gm uh, we will actually short the output node again um, i'll just draw the equivalent circuit for gm so when you find gm we'll short the output node this will be v in itself so this is i out this is m2 this is m1 now when i when you are giving v in the current flowing here is gm into v in so i can write i out is equal to gm into v in I, again this is an approximation uh, even uh, you can actually draw a detailed analysis and you will get a slightly bigger expression that we will do very shortly uh, we will get a slightly bigger expression, but that also can be approximated to this and I will say GM is approximately equal to GM1 of the input device. That is the case. Uh, I will write the uh, voltage gain in this case as what is voltage gain? Voltage gain can be written as AV is equal to uh, minus GM1 into the R01 plus R02 plus GM2 R02 into R01. Uh, so if I'm approximating uh, the impedance inside, it is GM2 R02 into R01. If both GMs and R0s are same, it is same as minus GM R0, the whole score. Only thing is there is a, a inversion in the gain. All right. So now if you look at the um, gain expression, uh, you can see that the gain is same as that of a cascade, but you are getting that with the same DC power as that of your uh, CS amplifier. 
So that is the technique of cascading. And when you say cascading, you are stacking one transistor on the top of the other. So now you can clearly see here what is the role of the CG amplifier. CG amplifier is simply buffering the current provided, the small signal current provided by this transistor. What, what, what I meant by simply buffering the current for V in, this transistor will carry a small signal current of GM and V in. That current is simply buffered here and that is available at the output as GM and V in. That is giving you a capital GM of small GM1. All right. I hope this is clear. Uh, if you have questions, you can ask. Uh, all right, I can take questions, but before that, let me uh, let me finish this. Now, uh, I have uh, drawn the initial circuit diagram of cascode amplifier by using a current source here. Right, you can see the current source, an ideal current source is kept here. Now, how will I go for a practical circuit? So, in practice, uh, we have to replace even that ideal current source using a suitable current, uh, suitable transistor. So, since it is a current source connected very close to power supply, I'm replacing it with a transistor M. Uh, uh, with a PMOS transistor. So this is what I will do with the circuit. I hope this is clear for you. What I have done is uh, we had a current source here, ideal current source, and that should be replaced by a suitable transistor and that I have done here. So this is M2, this is M1, this is V in. So this is bias one, this is another bias, V, v bias two. So this is the equivalent circuit. So this is the circuit of cascode amplifier. So let me write it here as cascode amplifier. Loaded with a suitable transistor. So now we have to look at one thing in the previous circuit, the impedance offered from here to the top was infinity. Since it was infinity, we were getting actually the same impedance what we were measuring down. Now, what is the output impedance in this case? If I try to write the output impedance here, so let me mark this as M3. If I want to find the output impedance, it is actually the parallel combination of the impedance seen down in parallel to impedance seen up. I hope you are clear, you are understanding when I say impedance seen up in parallel to impedance seen down because for small signal, this VD also will go to ground. So in that case, what is the impedance here? What is R out here? R out can be written as uh, the impedance seen up. We are looking at the drain of a transistor where the source is grounded. So it is equal to R naught three R naught three in parallel to the, the previous impedance remains same. So approximately it is GM two R naught two into R naught one. That is the uh, R out of this stage. Now, if I write gain, what is the gain? Gain is equal to minus GM one into this R naught three parallel to gm2 r02 into r01 right so are you guys with me can i get some response in the chat box all right yeah so uh, this is the voltage gain now if you look at the voltage gain expression you can see that there are two terms in parallel so one is a quite large term where GM2 R0 to R, R0 one is a huge term or a large term. But the other parallel combination resistance is R0 three, which is comparatively small. Right. So in such case, when there are two resistors in parallel, the parallel combination value will be the, the, the resultant will be smaller than the smallest value that we already know. If that is the case, uh, you will actually get a voltage gain, which is smaller than uh, GM1 R03 only, right? Because the parallel combination uh, or the, uh, the the resistors or the, the, the impedance seen up and impedance seen down is not exactly balanced. You can see a large impedance seen down, but a small impedance seen up. So the parallel combination will be definitely smaller and you will not get the gain as you are expecting, right? So uh, the, 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 the apt way or the ideal way to uh, load or to provide a load to this cascode amplifier is by including suitable number of transistors. What is meant by suitable number of transistor? If I'm using only one transistor to the top, the resistance will be only R0 from here. So in order to improve that, what I will do is, I will add one more transistor here. And from here, I'll tap the output. 
So let me call this as uh, M3 and this as M4. And the remaining uh, transistors will be same as such. So this is V in with M1. This is some V bias 1. This is V bias 2. This is V bias 3. This is VDD and this is M2. So what I have done here, I observed that uh, the impedance seen down here and the impedance seen up here, both are different. So the parallel combination will give you a smaller value. So in order to have a better gain, I added one more transistor here. Right. So now you should understand what are the different transistors. Here. This is actually the input device. Right. Now what is this device M2? M2 is basically a CAS code to the input device. Added a CAS code transistor to the input device and basically CAS coding improved the impedance thereby improved the gain. That is what we saw. Similarly, this is actually the load. The load device. And this M3 should be uh, identified as a CAS code device to the load. CAS code to the load. So finally, what is happening? What is the impedance seen down? The impedance seen down is gm2 r02 into r01 i hope you remember uh, see when we have two transistors of this form say this is m1 and this is m2 so uh, you can see that if you if you look from this point the impedance is r01 the same resistance if you see from the drain of another transistor this impedance will be improved or magnified by the intrinsic gain of m2 that is why we write the impedance as gm2 r02 into r01 which is the shortcut or the approximated value of a uh, yes avinash i am i am i am i am uh, coming to the uh, swing expression yes that is that is true what you are telling is right all right so m2 uh, the impedance seen at the drain of a single transistor is r01 but the same resistance if i see from the drain of another transistor it will be magnified by the intrinsic gain of that transistor so gm2 r0 to r0 1 same thing can be observed here the impedance seen down is gm2 r0 to r0 1 impedance seen up is gm3 r0 3 into r0 4 so if i write the total uh, voltage gain in this case av can be written as minus gm1 into uh, gm2 r0 2 r0 1 in parallel to uh, gm3 r03 r04 right still you can see uh, so there are uh, the parallel combination resistance will be uh, if both are equal it will be half but still it is better than the previous case or still is it is better than the case where we have um, unbalanced or the the where the resistance were not balanced properly right uh, I, i'll repeat if you have questions i'll repeat i'll give you more clarity but let me comment on the output swing also here. So as Avinash asked, yes, definitely. Whenever you go for cast coding, as you are stacking or adding more devices onto the same branch across the uh, supply voltage, you are consuming more space from the voltage headroom. You are consuming more uh, from the headroom because uh, previously when you have in a regular amplifier, you have only two transistors in stack. Now in that place, you have four transistors in stack. That means you are consuming um, more space from the headroom or you are reducing the voltage swing. So here I want to make that point again. So this come back or this will boil down to the same uh, analog design octagon where we talked about the trade off parameters. So when we are looking for more gain, we are compromising on swing. When you are looking for more gain, you are compromising on swing. That is what the trade off here. Right. So how will you write the voltage swing, output voltage swing? I will write from VDD, you have to deduct the overdrive voltage for all the four transistors. So I will write it as VDD minus uh, VOV1 minus VOV2. Since you have uh, PMOS transistors on the top, I will mark it as mode value of VOV4 minus mode value of VOV3. This is the output swing, right? So swing is reduced. or I will write more gain more gain is available 
at a reduced voltage swing i hope this is clear all right so this is very very important the structure of a cascode amplifier uh, a normal proper cascode amplifier will have an input device there will be a cascode for the input device similarly on the load side there will be a load and there will be a cascode to the load and this is actually the basic structure for a amp uh, operational amplifier that what we will see in the second unit of this course all right so if you have questions uh, please stay back and ask um, thank you so much for joining